Let me introduce you to one of my most memorable students during my first year of teaching. We'll call her Victoria. I remember her so vividly because of her circumstances and my lack of understanding and training to look past her behavior. Victoria was a very sweet girl, but she would often become withdrawn and aggressive. And like many students that exhibit her behavior was labeled bad rather than a child who was experiencing trauma and needing intervention support. It turns out that Victoria was experiencing and witnessing trauma in her home at the hands of her mom's boyfriend. Victoria's story stuck with me over the years, not because her story was so unique, but because I have learned how common her story really is. Victoria, along with approximately 35 million young children, have been exposed to one or more types of adverse childhood experiences. 60% of children exposed to domestic violence are infants, toddlers, and preschoolers. Research has also shown that there's a direct correlation between the amount of ACEs a child experiences and chronic health problems. Children experiencing four or more ACEs are over 1,200% more likely to attempt suicide. Most school staff, particularly administrators, lack training to create a school culture which recognizes and supports students with trauma, which means children like Victoria are often mislabeled. I'm recommending elementary school principals are trained in recognizing and addressing trauma in young children. Governor Pritzker signed a resolution declaring May 15, 2019 as the state's first trauma-informed awareness day, which is a great first step. However, we need a policy mandating administrators enroll in a two-day statewide training focused on evidence-based trauma-informed practices. Illinois would then be able to develop a school culture statewide that would equip administrators with the knowledge to support the whole child as a part of a healing-centered approach to create a successful, long life for children and families. Thank you.